हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फूड न्यूट्रिशन एंड डायटेटिक्स चैनल टुडे वी विल स्टडी चैप्टर टू ऑफ यूनिट थ्री डैट इज माल न्यूट्रिशन पब्लिक हेल्थ न्यूट्रिशन बेसिक कंसेप्ट्स न्यूट्रिशन एज यू मे बी अवेयर इज वन ऑफ आर मेजर डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ आर हेल्थ एंड वेलबींग ऑफ इंडिविजुअल इन अ सोसाइटी सो एन एरिया ऑफ स्टडी विच एम्फोसाइजेस द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशन नॉलेज पॉलिसी एंड रिसर्च टू द इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ हेल्थ पॉपुलेशन इज कॉल्ड एज पब्लिक हेल्थ न्यूट्रिशन so it is a field of study uh, which works researches on the improvement of the health of the population by emphasizing on the good nutrition and good diet of the people uh, it is primarily concerned with improving nutrition in population groups so of public health nutrition may therefore include uh, an outstanding of first uh, the most the most critical social behavioral and food and of nutrition factor that affect health second uh, nature causes and consequences of nutritional problem malnutrition in a society third uh, nutritional requirement and dietary guidelines of population fourth design planning implementing and evaluating evaluation of nutritional programs and how they can improve the nutritional status of population uh, fifth uh, how nutrition related and food related public policies affect health especially in vulnerable groups and sixth nutritional education for behavior ch changes etc so these were the understandings which come under the public health nutrition program next we will move uh, the activity mentioned above are by no means a complete list of activities undertaken within the public health nutrition domain but surely Uh, they give us an idea about this area of study uh, it may emphasize that public health nutrition is vast field and has many aspect to it at this stage we are not required to dwell with those on these various activities so it only tells about that we have to not go in much deeper in that uh, because uh, the things which are related mostly to our subject we will study that only nutritional problem problems malnutrition their causes consequences you may learn you have learned uh, from a major uh, from a major part of study of public health nutrition so let us begin our study with this unit with a review on concept definition causes and consequences of malnutrition malnutrition basic concept causes and consequences uh, when you think of malnutrition what comes to your picture to your mind yes very often we picture malnutrition as undernutrition we tend to picture a thin starved individual and malnourished mm, uh, individual as malnourished so this uh, line tells us that um, most of people think that malnutrition is only that uh, when people are uh, undernourished or they do not get proper amount of nutrition so they are malnourished but this is not the concept malnutrition in fact is poor nutrition but uh, what we fail to understand is that malnutrition is an impairment of health not resulting for deficiency or lack of food nutrients but also when there is a excess or imbalance of nutrients in the diet so it is not only the uh, reduced of reduced amount of uh, nutrients but it is also caused due to the excess or imbalance in nutrients so we should take proper diet not more and not less so we will talk about uh, talk of malnutrition we refer to both first undernutrition first one is uh, undernutrition not getting enough nutrient and second is overnutrition getting more nutrient uh, than the body needs so there is one box we will read about it uh, nutrients are essential substance present in a food necessary of bodily functions including protein carbohydrates fats vitamins and minerals so it is a definition of nutrients next we will move to next page there is a uh, flow chart given we will study that uh, malnutrition are of two types undernutrition and overnutrition undernutrition is a deficiency of calories energy and or proteins and it also it is a deficiency of vitamins and minerals uh, undernutrition causes uh, under uh, undernutrition of uh, calories and energy causes uh, underweight stunting and wasting and un undernutrition uh, deficiency of vitamin and mineral causes micronutrient and micro mineral uh, iron vitamin a and iron deficiency second is uh, malnutrition uh, uh, overnutrition overnutrition causes uh, overweight and obesity we will next move yes 
uh, undernutrition is a condition which occurs when there is a lack of adequate energy protein or micronutrients like iron vitamin a in a diet uh, the basic requirement of nutrient for growth development body maintenance is not met leading to the poor growth of or protein energy malnutrition or deficiency diseases like anemia permanent blindness etc so it tells us that over nutrition uh, it is the explanation of the above flow chart that how and what deficiency causes what diseases over nutrition on the other hand is a form of malnutrition that occurs uh, when we take more of a nutrient that the body needs every day yes uh, consumption of excess in, uh, energy is an example of over nutrition leading to overweight and obesity overweight and obesity as defined as uh, uh, abnormal defined as abnormal excessive and accumulation of that present risk of health and now we will study causes of malnutrition there are many underlying causes of malnutrition a conceptual framework on the causes of malnutrition was developed in 1990 by unicef the framework shows that uh, the causes of malnutrition are multisectoral and classified as basic underlying and intermediate as highlighted in figure so this is again the second flow chart which is given in our so malnutrition um, uh, pot, uh, potential resources are available economic structure and potential and ideological factor uh, the resources of control human organization and all these factors in uh, are involved in the causes of malnutrition or overnutrition we can say next uh, inadequate access to food inadequate care of children women so malnutrition may also be due to inadequate access of foods inadequate care of children and insufficient health and unhealthy environment these all are the reasons for disease and inadequate dietary intake so these result in the malnutrition of a children or any person in our society next uh, causes of malnutrition unicef framework intermediate Uh, causes of malnutrition are at individual level including inadequate dietary intake and frequent illness and diseases an individual dietary intake and exposure to disease are affected by underlying factors at household family level such as lack of availability of access or utilization of diverse diverse diet inadequate care and feeding practices for children combines with unhealthy household and surrounding environment and inaccessible and inadequate health care so it may be also due to the inadequate intake of uh, inadequate intake of food and also due to the uh, frequent illness and diseases which also affect our health and reduce our immunity by uh, which leads to malnutrition uh, it is also due to our household that how we keep our house clean and uh, unhealthy houses also occur uh, surrounding also causes inaccessible and inadequate care also these are also the reasons for malnutrition Uh, basic causes including the social economic and political factors that neglect human rights uh, perpetuates poverty denying the access to vulnerable population to essential resources these function the society level the causes of undernutrition and overnutrition the causes of undernutrition and overnutrition uh, in many ways similar are and link interlinked factors such as poverty lack of knowledge and access to adequate diet poor infant and young child feeding practices inadequate health care etc can lead to over uh, undernutrition as well as overweight and obesity so these are the reasons due to which the overnutrition and uh, undernutrition causes consequences of malnutrition so we will now get what are the reasons or consequences for malnutrition the consequences linked with malnutrition can be devastating uh, before we study the consequences let us get to know who are more likely to be suffering from malnutrition malnutrition affects first and foremost children under age of 2 but young children under 5 or age adolescent pregnant lactating mothers and elderly and the chronically ill are vulnerable also vulnerable so most of the most of the time the people who are mostly affected due to malnutrition are children under of age and uh, children under uh, small children under the age of 2 or more and uh, after that the adolescent pregnant lactating mothers also comes under this malnutrition increases the risk of mortality and morbidity 
uh, in uh, mortality means death and morbidity means illness that is frequent illness uh, in the long term chronic malnutrition during pregnancy and early childhood manifest and stunted growth low height for age and wasting low weight for height children who are malnourished in early years of life fail to grow and develop their full potential both physically and mental mentally the consequences of stunting uh, extend to adulthood increases the risk of poor pregnancy outcome that is the born is low birth weight impaired cognition and result of poor school performance reduced economic productivity and earning so these are the reasons which are uh, which are uh, these are the consequences of malnutrition that is wasting that is uh, wasting that is low or low weight for height second is um, stunted that is low height for age and uh, children who are malnourished uh, do not develop full to their full potential uh, both physically and mentally mentally they are not fully developed and these are all the uh, impairments which are caused due to this diet that are inadequate in terms of micronutrients iron iodine vitamin a can lead to serious illness including anemia iron deficiency mental retardation and permanent blindness people who suffer from malnutrition have fewer defenses against diseases that is have low immunity so mal uh, malnutrition not only uh, lead to death of the child or uh, reduced of the body but it also reduces the immunity and causes um, frequent illness of the people uh, they fall ill for faster and easily and are ab- uh, less able to recover quickly and completely from diseases malnutrition increases the risk of infection uh, with infection in the reduced appetite malabsorption uh, will in turn increase the body need and nutrients and leading to malnutrition creating a viscous cycle of malnutrition and infection this creates a cycle which never ends and causes and it uh, transfer from one generation to another so we should avoid uh, we should take uh, measures that we should take proper diet and avoid this things so this is a flow chart type given thing uh, you can take screenshot for that uh, it's very important and very helpful so now uh, let's begin with it malnutrition consequences first is non communicable diseases uh, second is overweight that is obesity overweight and obesity third is anemia um, third is anemia permanent blindness fourth is low worth for weight uh, fifth is stunting wasting and sixth is failure to growth seventh is mortality and morbidity eighth is low immunity ninth is repeated infections tenth is impaired cognition eleventh is poor school and twelfth is reduced economic productivity see these are all the consequences of malnutrition which happen in human beings having considered the consequences of malnutrition it is very important for us to uh, now to as public health nutrition student to be able to assess identify individual who suffering from malnutrition or identify population groups or individuals who are at risk of undergoing so it is the assignment type given so that we should identify the people who are malnourished and take how they are suffering from it so here we uh, finish our unit 3 so from next video we will start from unit 4 thanks for watching do subscribe to our channel and like the video thanks for watching